Hi everyone, welcome to today's video and in today's video we are going to be reviewing the brand new Rare Beauty blushes and they are the new Soft Pinch Luminous Powder blushes. Now if you haven't already heard, these blushes are designed to be a combination of two products, their Soft Pinch Highlighter and also my absolute favourite blushes, the Soft Pinch Liquid blushes. I only picked up two shades of this and I picked up the Rare Beauty blush brush and I'm going to put them on one at a time for you today. Okay, let's get these blushes on. I had these blushes in and out of my basket for a week because I didn't know whether to buy them or not. If you are familiar with any of my previous videos, you may know that because I have more mature skin, I'm in my 40s, I just do prefer my blushes and my bronzers in liquid and cream form these days. I have worn these already. I wanted to get a feel for them before I did this video. I only picked up two shades. The honest reason why I only picked up two shades was because I just did not want to be wasting if these were a complete disaster, that's a lot of blush to go down this one. -y. So I've been very conservative. I hope you're proud of me. I've been very conservative. I picked up Hope and Happy. And the reason that I went for Hope and Happy was because I love those shades in the liquid blush. And I will swatch them for you. Actually, at some point in this video, I'll show you the differences because even though they're completely different consistencies, different formulas, it might be useful just to see them next to each other if you are trying to decide what shade to actually choose. So let's just have a look at the claims of this blush. As I said, it is a combination of the liquid blush and the powder highlighter. It is an unexpectedly smooth and incredibly weightless blush that goes on seamlessly for a pinch perfect blush that seems to radiate from within. Highly pigmented, packed with brilliant pearls for a natural looking dimension, no flaking, no caking or fallout. It is transfer proof, smudge proof, and water resistant. It is cruelty free, vegan, paraben free, suitable for sensitive skin, and non comedogenic, meaning it won't break you out. It is available in six shades and it retails for about £25 or $23. So I think we will start with Hope and I will apply, remove, and then apply again. I think it just gives us a little bit of a better idea rather than doing one cheek and then the other cheek. We'll do the full face. We'll go in with the full face. So for me, the main point of this video is, is it good for mature skin? Is it going to emphasize texture? Is it going to sit into fine lines? Is it going to be too luminous? Is it gonna to be too glowy? I want the answers to all of those questions and I want to share them with you. I really, really like this packaging. I think it's really, really pretty and it's super lovely and compact. So here we have Hope. I picked up my first ever brush from Rare Beauty and this is the Soft Pinch blush brush so it's just an angled brush which i imagine would be nice it's quite dense denser than what i would usually use in a blush brush in relation to what base i have on at the moment i'm actually wearing this which is been one of my new favorites actually this is the catrice true skin foundation i wanted to wear this one because it's not overly luminous or glowy. It's quite, I don't know whether I would describe it as a soft matte. Maybe it is quite soft matte on me. Just really natural looking. And I've been really, really enjoying it and super affordable too, by the way. But I'll talk about that in another video. So not a super glowy base. I thought that if I had a super luminous foundation, we wouldn't actually be able to see the true finish of the blush. So Selena always says, start with one dot. It's a little bit hard to start with one dot when it comes to powder blush, but I'm just going to tap in very, very lightly. So this is Hope. Because the end of this brush is tinted, I can't see how much I have on the end of it. So I would say that's a little bit of a design flaw maybe on this brush. I can't tell how much is on there because the end of the brush is like a pinky red. <laughs> So I don't have any other base on. I only have foundation and concealer under my eyes. I don't have any bronzer on. Obviously, I don't have any blush. Look at how pale I am. <laughs> so we'll go in with Hope uh, on both sides. I'm just going to tap into it and then make sure I tap off. And, you know, start easy is what I say. I 
I do tend to keep blush in this top area. I'm not going to bring this blush anywhere near my under eyes because that is really just asking for trouble. I have under eye hollows, I have fine lines and putting a luminous highlighter or blush in that area is just going to emphasize everything that you don't want to emphasizing. So there you go. That is hope on one side. I was petrified yesterday when I was wearing these. I genuinely thought it would emphasize every single bit of texture that I have, but I can gladly tell you that it does not. If you look at the blush, depending on what angle you look from, it has an iridescence to it. So you can look at it from one angle and it looks one color. And then you look at it from another angle and it's a different color. It's really, it's really quite fascinating. Okay, let's go in on the other side. So just a reminder that this is hope. Start with a little, you can always add more, but you can't take it away. That's always my rule of thumb. Now I've gone in with a bit more, just so that you can see. So there we have hope. really gorgeous i really like this shade i think that it is very very buildable if you can see up close if you have a little bit of texture in this area and you put a luminous product there it is going to emphasize texture a little bit i don't think that is bad at all i think that is completely acceptable i was completely petrified that they were going to emphasize my texture and be full of glitter it's none of those things. I can't see any glitter in this at all. It just looks like I have blush and highlighter on. So before I give you what my full opinions are on the blush, I'm going to put happy on for you. So I'm going to take hope off completely and pop happy on. So let me take this off and I'll be back in a mo. So I've taken off Hope and now I'm going to put on Happy. And I think I forgot to say that Hope is described as a nude mauve and Happy is a cool pink. Now, as I said, I will swatch all these for you, but that's Happy. So I'm going to go in with a different brush this time. And this is just, this is a really old Zoeva brush. This is just the uh, Zoeva 127. And this would always be my preferred brush for powder blush. So I'll just dip into Happy. Now, Happy <laughs> is terrifying for me in this powder highlight blush combo but it's actually not, it's actually fine. So um, just tapping off and just tapping. So a lot more pigmented than what Hope is. Look at that glow. <laughs> okay, so that's one side with Happy. Build it up a little bit more. Because I want you to be able to see the colour, I want you to be able to see the pigment, I want you to be able to see the finish. So happy. Really gorgeous, <laughs> really, really gorgeous. Let me show you some swatches. When you feel these, these feel like silk. They feel absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to do them here. They are so silky and they are so smooth. So here's the new blush in Hope and here is the liquid blush in Hope. Here we have the liquid blush Happy and this is the powder blush happy. So there they are. I will probably insert a photograph of the swatches for you. So I will insert the photograph of the swatches for you now. So 
So my final thoughts on these new Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Luminous Blushes. Do I think that they are suitable for mature skin? And the simple answer is yes. I absolutely do think these are suitable for mature skin and I did not expect to like these. Like I said before, I only purchased two. I thought it was going to be a disaster. Now, any luminous product that you put on your skin is going to emphasize a little bit of texture and hence why I usually stay clear of them. But I am absolutely blown away by how these look. So first of all, my best piece of advice to you is just go handy. As Selena says, start with one dot. You can always add more, but you can't take it away. So even though I actually thought these were going to be a lot more pigmented than what they were, I've built these up quite a bit and I think it still looks really, really pretty. Start with a minimal amount and build it up to a level that you're happy with or that you're comfortable with. I genuinely thought, as well as emphasizing my texture, that it would emphasize my pores. It's not done any of that. This powder blush, highlighter sinks into the skin. It really does melt into the skin. However, one thing I will say, these are not going to be a day-to-day -day blush for me. These are going to be a blush that I wear when I go out, when I go out to a restaurant, when I go out for a few drinks, when I go out with my friends, well, that's when I'll be wearing these. I can't see myself wanting this level of glow during the day. It's just, it's not my vibe, it's not my style. But if you are a fan of highlighter in the day, I'm not, I don't wear highlighter generally in the day. If you are a consistent highlight user, you have to pick these up, especially for mature skin. These are minimizing the amount of product that you are using. So they are combining two products in one. It's the nicest looking blush slash highlight combo I've ever used. I think it's just incredibly stunning. But as I said, I wouldn't be using this on a day-to-day -day basis. Like I wouldn't be using this to do the school run. I would be using this when I want just to stand out a little bit, where I want my complexion to look flawless. I will definitely be purchasing more of these, definitely. And I am hoping that they will come out with some more shades. And in relation to the brush, the brush is nice. It's fine. Um, I'll probably use it for other things as well, actually. Didn't notice a difference applying my blush with this or with the other brush. I think they both went on really, really nicely. I think it was £20 around that price point. Obviously, I will have put all the prices on the screen. I would definitely say if you have much hair skin and you've been umming and ahhing about this product, it's stunning. It's combining two products in one. It sinks into the skin. It melts in. It doesn't emphasize texture or lines or sit anywhere that it's not supposed to. It's really gorgeous. So if you've been on the fence, I would get off it and buy one. They're absolutely gorgeous. Do let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. Have you picked up any of these shades? Are you loving them? Are you not loving them? Let me know. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I so appreciate you being here with me. I'm really looking forward to seeing you in the next one. But until then, take care and bye for now.